what's going on everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Nicole of course. As you guys know, I am going to be moving fairly soon out of my very first apartment that I've had officially in my name. And I'm a little late to the game, I know. Um, I'm kind of, you know, in a time crunch. I have been doing some research online for different apartments, but I've never um, gone to look at one yet. Um, but that's because I kind of was looking a couple months ago and I had like some in mind that I potentially might be moving into, but that's what the, today's video is going to be about. Um, I am starting to get the ball rolling here. Um, so I just pulled up to my first apartment, um, you know, apartment uh, tour. Jeez. <laughs> a little distracted. Um, no, I'm really excited. Actually, it looks like a really nice place. Very modern on the outside. Someone recommended this place to me a while ago, and I never got around to checking it out. Um, and it's just obviously so much better to see it in person. So I'm basically going to be looking for, um, or looking at, I should say, one and two bedrooms just because I want to see the different options and different layouts um, that they have. And then of course I want to check out like the pool and the gym and see what they have to offer. Super geeked up. Um, I hope you guys will, you know, uh, be truthful. Tell me if you like it or don't in the comment section down below. I am looking for bigger windows. I think I want to be, you know, higher up, like maybe fourth or fifth floor. I don't know if this has that many anyways, but yeah, I want to be higher up. I definitely want a balcony. I would prefer a stand up, sh like if I got a two bedroom, um, a stand up shower, uh, like modern glass in my, um, my bedroom the master and then for the guest i would like a bathtub because you know i love my bubble baths uh and i'm kind of hoping for like white cabinets or maybe like a gray charcoal gray cabinets black fixtures like handles hardware basically um and i love a marble top counter so, and then uh, light floors as well. It's kind of like a grayish uh, tone. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna decide on. I have a two bedroom now and I love it cause you know, the other room, well, when I first moved in the first, the other room, the guest room was uh, my beauty room. And then it kind of just ended up turning into storage. And then that's kind of how I ended up being a pack rat. <laughs> Not literally, but yeah, I do have a lot of stuff and I do have to sell, um, some of it before I leave. So I have like a whole laundry list of things to get done, um, within a short period of time because, I kind of put that stuff on the back burner with everything that has been going on, but I am feeling a lot better. Um, I'm just taking things slowly, but today's the day um, to start my apartment searching journey. I'm super duper excited. I can't wait to start a new journey in a new place. I think this is going to be really, really good for me and um, it's gonna just be a fresh new start. So let's go. All right guys, so here is a little showing of the lobby area. It did have a coffee spot over there in the corner to the left, you guys don't see it, but it's decorated very well. You kind of walk further inside of the building and you get to that common area where you can rent this space out. They offer free tea and coffee in the morning to the residents. And you can also rent that out for party events. This is their gym. Very um, nice. It's facing the pool and a lot of great 
equipment that you can use to get your body in shape. That is the pool looking from the space that you can rent out inside. It was kind of drizzling at this point. I wasn't sure if we were going to go look out there, so I wanted to make sure I got it on camera just in case. It was very big. There was a little pool to the right and then the bigger pool to the left. A lot of seating areas and cabanas with TVs. It's, of course, first come, first serve. And then here we go again to the lounge. You can, you know, sit down, maybe do some work on your laptop, grab a coffee or a tea. It's on them. Um, there is some refrigerator space and a sink. So if you did want to host something, you can do so. They said that they allow four to six people um, in there chilling if you are not loud. Um, but then again, for six hours, you can rent out that whole area for... $400, I think. Okay, so here we go. This is the first apartment with the two bedrooms. You walk in, and to the left, here is the gorgeous kitchen. Um, Very modern. I like that the stove is just flat, electric. Um, The cabinets are nice. I like the gray, lighter tones. It makes it brighter. This is a corner unit, so it had a lot of windows. We'll come back to that. This is going to be the first bedroom. This is the master, I'm sorry. This is the master bedroom. They said it does fit a standard king, so my bed could fit in there probably without the frame, um, but it's pretty decent size. And into the master bathroom, lots of cabinet space, double sinks, a huge mirror. And then this one has the garden tub. I was trying to show you the lights and the mirror all together. The garden tub is massive, which is my favorite. Um, and just like a little cutout for you can put your... Uh, shampoo bottles their closets have a lot of space i like those shelves in there personally and all of the racks that you can hold um up your clothes on even all the way at the top which is really nice so they really utilize the space very well that was behind the door back into the living room lots of windows and the outside of the patio i'm going to show you in a minute wraps all the way around they said that you can paint and you can uh, hang up your TV, but of course there's a fee if you do not patch it up when you leave. That is looking into the kitchen from the living room, going out to the patio. This is huge, you guys. You can have a little, you know, uh, chairs and tables, sip your coffee in the morning, and then it wraps all the way around, and I have no idea what to do with that space <laughs> um, if I did end up getting this, but it's pretty big. The drawers in the kitchen, I thought those were massive. Like I would put like my pots and pans in there. The stove was pretty nice. I do have to say I like the backsplash and the lighter colors. This cabinet area, I liked that it was like see-through so you can put like wine glasses in there um or if you had like nicer dishes this is going into the second bedroom which is the guest and again that i think was like a queen sized bed but i like that it's like a bigger window so i'll have a lot of lighting that was my issue in my place now i don't have a whole bunch this was kind of like a jack and jill so um, that the guests can have their bathroom as well, but then, you know, the, they can share it basically. This was very nice, huge mirror. Once again, just a single sink. You got your cabinets and drawers, lots and lots of storage. 
you can put your towels or whatever you would like in there. And they are soft, cold, soft closed cabinets. And what I loved... Oh, no, not this one. So this one is just the garden tub again with the shower. But I like that they're huge. This is just a different look from the closet going into the bathroom in the first guest room then we're going over to the closet they actually have some decent sized closets and i like that they have the bars on top so that you can really fit a whole bunch of clothes in there we're walking down into the next apartment this is a one bedroom you can't really tell right now, but the ceilings are really, really high, very vaulted. I can't remember. It was more than like 10. Um, so they were really high and I like that because it just made the space look bigger again with the see-through cabinets and the backsplash. Oh, I want to add also they have the option of white marble, but then um, with a lighter backsplash, that's just a cat. Uh, pantry right there but they have a option of that or a dark marble counter and a gray really like charcoal gray backsplash which I wouldn't mind either both of the units came with washer and dryer I just didn't show you the last one but it looks exactly the same as this and then there we go so I just don't know if you can tell, but the ceiling is vaulted and I really like that a lot. And I realize I want that in my next house for sure. They have a little wine area. The fridge is pretty nice too as well. It's newer. A nice island. Lots of cabinet space. This is into the bedroom. It's a decent size I just like that it had a huge window so lots and lots of sunlight this would be the master bathroom double sinks um some cabinet space but my favorite part was the walk-in shower looked really really nice I liked it a lot and then next to that you have your garden tub. You get the best of both worlds. I don't know. For me, I was it was giving for me. <laughs> I really, really like that a lot because um, this is a one bedroom. So it's pretty much either or most of the time. But this time it uh it came with both and I'm definitely vibing with that. I like the lighter color floors and again, a huge closet. I want to do um add one thing though. The vaulted ceilings are only in the first building on the third floor. So if you if I did get this I would have to see if that if they had an opening whenever I do decide to move. I like the refrigerator. It's um it it looks really bright in person. Right here, I don't know if the camera's capturing it or not, but it was very nice and modern. So we're going into the pool area. They do have restrooms available outside so you don't have to run back inside. <laughs> you can host little parties right there. They have, you know, the sink and a few like a fridge underneath that was just a little lounge sitting area with a tv that is like its own little pool I wish it was a hot tub but it's not I like these little chairs and they got it's like its own little pool you know if you don't want to be fully in the water but have like you know a little water around you to cool down I thought that was really cool Unfortunately, I went on a rainy day, but I just know in the middle of summer, this place would look really, really nice. And, you know, it makes you want to go swimming in it. Not today, though. It's gloomy. <laughs> they have little water fountains shooting out and everything. Over here, um, they have a lot of chairs to, you know, tan on or 
whatever you want to do have some people over throw a little party i like the little inside area here's a grill and a table sit back and eat your food i can do my mukbang mukbangs in there here i thought it was cute it's first come first serve little tv lounge they got little fountains inside the pool with the little you know I don't know. <laughs> it's really cute and it's really nice. I like it a lot. Hey, what's going on, guys? So today's a new day. As you can see, I'm in a new outfit. That's because it's totally my fault. I kind of just pulled up on, you know, the apartment place um, that I was looking at and just walked in and hoping that they could do a tour you know at that time i wasn't even thinking about scheduling one and unfortunately they did not have any more available for that day so i came back the next day and i got to do a tour and i have to say i really really like this place a lot um it's very modern the pool is great i think it would be topping my pool that i currently have they have a lot of different seating areas and cabanas with tvs of course it is first come first serve um the person that showed me and gave me my tour was super duper nice and welcoming i got to look at two different units today i did a I looked at a two bedroom and a one bedroom and I explained to him that I would like, you know, like a walk-in shower and, um, you know, all of the other stuff that I kind of was looking for. So I don't know, depending on when I'm going to put this clip in throughout the whole video, I don't know if you guys have seen it already or not, I am going to do a voiceover. Um, because I didn't want to talk while he was showing me because we were just having our own conversation. Hopefully you guys enjoy the voiceovers. I actually kind of like it to be honest because um, anyways it's just newer to me. So I got to see two units today and the second unit, the one bedroom, I really liked a lot more than the two bedroom. Two bedrooms are nice, don't get me wrong, but the one bedroom in the first building only um, have higher ceilings. And I really like that a lot because it just makes it like, you know, it makes your eyes wander and especially like how you decorate the place. So right when you walk in, the living room has, I forgot what, it's definitely higher than like 10, I want to say maybe, I don't even know, to be honest. Um, and I, I asked him, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> I forgot or he didn't give me, like, he, he didn't know himself. But that's okay. They were really, really high. I love that. They have the option of white marble um, or gray marble and for the countertops and the black the back splash. And I got to only see the white but in the pamphlet it shows the darker color and i'm not mad at it either i actually kind of like it to be honest like the backsplash and the darker countertops um i do like the white marble as well just because it looks like really clean but i feel like this kind of gives like you know sophisticated grown woman vibes i mean both of them do i have white marble right now and white countertops so maybe i want to switch it up possibly um for my next spot but the thing that won me over with the one bedroom is the stand-up shower and the garden tub right next to it i was not expecting that at all whatsoever I walked in there and was like, whoa, like this is actually, uh, this is cool. Um, I like that they give you two different options because uh, I typically like take a rinse off shower. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I take like a rinse off shower or I take a bath and then I go ahead and like take a full shower just because your bath, you're kind of just 
like sitting in your dirt and it's kind of gross <laughs> and I'm trying to you know bathe and get clean so um yeah I thought that was really cool and I think it had double sinks if not there was a lot of counter space um and kind of it's really open for having a shower and a bath in the same spot so yeah I really like it and like a million things were going through my head on how I would decorate it and another plus this place has really really big closet options like sometimes when you go look at different units or different apartment buildings they'll have smaller closets and one thing for me I do have a lot of clothes and the higher ceilings kind of are um you know help that out as well because they do have like higher bars like for maybe if you wanted to go all out and like switch your clothes from like seasons <laughs> you know like if it's say because it's coming up on summer I can put my winter clothes um on top and then have my summer clothes on the bottom so that I can access them better because remember it is a one bedroom and that's pretty much all you got to be you know for unless if you put a a a dresser in your room or something but no it's pretty big I like the shelves the shelving in the closets as well I actually just came across a TikTok and a girl um she just gave me some inspo uh to hang up certain things and utilize those little cubbies in the closet so that's really cool um for the first bedroom I really liked the big window I wanted more natural lights and higher up the balcony was pretty cool as well I would really like a pool view but he just said you know you have to when it comes closer to my date of um, moving out I kind of just have to see what's available or not overall this was a pretty a pretty cool uh, pretty cool spot to live I really really enjoyed it a lot a lot the stoves were you know just flat very modern I like that there were um, some of the cabinets were glass or you know like a little so you can see through your thing for like dishes or wine glasses I always wanted something like that they are pet friendly the gym was very nice as well the pool was open from 8 to 10 I believe and yeah I don't want to say too much in this clip because I know I'm going to be doing a voiceover so I'm sorry if you're hearing this twice I don't mean to repeat myself but I'm just trying to give you guys a review and this is the first one I looked at I do want to keep my options open I don't want to just gun for it you know and sign my lease right away because that's kind of what I did with my first place I want to look at different places and then um, obviously like keep these books or pamphlets um, so that I can you know remember what each one looks like actually it helps to like document it as well that's a tip if you do actually you know want to or I'm sorry the scratch that if you go if you're going apartment hunting make sure you take little um, you know video clips just so that you can like keep it in your mind and refresh so that you can weigh out all your options at the end and see what you like see what you don't like um pricing and all that good stuff they are pet friendly I don't know if I said that already but yeah this one's pretty good uh, I know Houston is huge and there's so many different options to choose from because Texas is definitely, you know, a place that they just put up buildings here, there, here, there, like super quick too. Um, but I'm going to keep this in mind and you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. Uh, and we'll just keep on looking, weighing out our options, I guess. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, it's later in the day for me. I typically don't film um, around this time. So I'm kind of like, you know, just kind of like this is cool down time for me. But this was the only availability that they had for showing that unit. The backseat looks absolutely insane and I apologize for that. So I love you guys so much. Let me know what you think. Um, I want to... Uh, read some of your opinions. I love you. I will see you tomorrow or the next day. I guess I don't post every day, which I need to start getting back on. But I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. You guys can always find me here on YouTube and Instagram at Nicole, of course, on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. Mwah! Bye, guys.